With our recent experiences of heavy rainfall during the wet season, landslides have been more prevalent. In this week's Keeping It Green segment, Gia Gomez and Ian Wallace speak to UWE to learn more about them. Landslides, also called landslips, are various forms of mass movement. They are classified based on the nature of material and the speed on which the flow occurs. Dr. Ronald Rupnarine, disaster resilience expert and scholar in landslides at the University of the West Indies, shares the types of landslides. So you could have slow insidious movements like soil creep, which is very, very prevalent in South and Central Trinidad. Which is not immediately noticeable, but will occur over time, such as tilted poles in the earth. You could also have the more acute type, like you see in the Northern Range, which is where it's a landslide. Landslides would occur based on a triggering factor, most causes, rain. Over time, rainfall weakens the soil and increases the stress associated with the soil. Once you have shear strength being exceeded by stress, the soil fails and you have some slippage. That's mostly occurring in the Northern Range, yeah? or on road cuts and things like that. So for our purposes, we really just have you know, two major types of, of soil movement. Gravity. Another driving force affecting slope stability, other than the events of heavy rainfall, earthquakes, or anthropogenic causes, such as slope cuts to build roadways. And there are others that are not always identifiable. Proximity to road networks, because road networks add an additional element. So when you're close to a road and you have heavy vehicles passing constantly, it adds uh, vibrations, which could be an additional factor that triggers a landslide. These are the main reasons we experience landslides. While we may not have direct control over natural events, we can avoid some by being mindful of our environment and how we build moving forward. I am Gilles Loren Gomez, keeping it green for TTT News.